First things first, we have the Chin Dynasty. This is when things started to get real trippy. The first dynasty out of many to come. The emperor's name was the Quin Shi Huang. The dynasty lasted for 15 years. The emperor couldn't care less about his peers. He thought he was so great, but was he really? The great man of China, ah, uh, nearly. He unified China, that's pretty cool. But he didn't last long on his big old stool. Now I don't mean to sound all mocky mocky, but some of his people thought he was too cocky. Rebelling that emperor seemed a great fright, but Gao and Hai murdered his son in the night. Now that sure ended the first dynasty, but let's go to the next one. Come, follow me. The Han is the second dynasty. Gao the emperor was so mighty. This was the golden age for united China. Women had small feet, cause ouch, they bind them. This reign lasted for 106 years. Google the emperor, he has a pretty long beard. I want to put his beard into tiny braids. This emperor collapsed because of nomadic rates. Government grew weak and didn't get taxes. Back then, the earth still moved on its axis. The big deal breaker for this whole thing was the war still 589 CE. The next dynasty that is coming your way lasted 29 years and is called this way. The man in charge is Emperor Wendy. Out of all this, dynasty is number three. Reunified China made a grand canal. This waterway still makes tourists go wow this man made attraction is a thousand miles long almost as long as it took to write the song the dynasty soon came to a bit of trebel but everyone in the city chose to rebel then emperors soon had little sources when the people joined with the military forces if dynasties were changed this one really dangled and things really ended when the emperor was strangled from now on i'ma do my own thing as we go to the next dynasty called the Chang. here they started civil service exams trade and commerce very important Important, yes, ma'am. So we had the canal that was cool when it flowed. This dynasty re-established the Silk Road. Eased restrictions and Li Yuan was in the mix. This all ended because of conflicts with different cliques. Peasants uprising seemed kind of surprising. Units gained power, then the emperor cowered. Let's keep our brain flowing, keep moving on. The next dynasty is called the Song. Ur urbanization and a powerful weapon. Lowest social levels now started to threaten. A big invention here was gunpowder. The fame from this made Shang Hu a lot prouder. Prouder of his country, the emperor was. Only 319 years, what's the fuss? Created meritocracy, had a strong bureaucracy. The dynasty started to go a bit bonkers. The Mongols attacked, and then they were conquered. How many dynasties? Seems like a ton. The next one we have is called the Yun. There were now four classes. China was divided, controlled by foreigners, probably because they fight it. And then soon came civil service exams. Can I get a whoop whoop? Jazz hands. There's lots of reestablished agriculture. <coughs> Was that a vulture? The leader in charge was Kublai Khan. Yes, so yes, he is the man. Lots of rebellions, animals, and fights led the emperor to a loss of might. Natural disasters and everything fell. This dynasty ended, as you could tell. In 1368, we started the Ming. This dynasty was now the big thing. Open up China to foreign influence. Help to Yan make a difference. Hung with the emperor was the big slam. His great wall extension would trend on Instagram. Now, I don't know if the travel found on horses, but the Ming fell down through military force. They also all suffered numerous diseases, made them die and crumble into small pieces. The next one we have is called the King. Shout out to Brian, Ming Jing, Chicken Wing. Now to piece this all together, we can play some Pictionary. Chinese compilated and made lots of dictionaries. Lots of words between China and Britain. Good military led China to fit in. Lots of traveling and more exploration led China into an even bigger creation. Huang Tao Zhu Sun Emperor Kang Xi. Lots of pressures in the Taiping Rebellion caused another dynasty to fail again. Broke down the emperor because of riots. Riot leaders were scarier than pirates. After all the dynasties rising and falling, another type of government came in calling. China's new government was called depositism. The split could almost be referred to as a schism. Now, I've noticed lots of patterns in collapses, military riots, and not enough taxes. Past rulers being overthrown simply because they're not fit for the throne. Now, I finished our project. I know it's the best. Now I gotta step back and my throat some rest. Word. I'll, uh,
Charlie for <laughs> Megan, this is my daily vlog. Here I have my sweatshirt that I got. Oh, it's gonna be an OOTD video, by the way. This used to say Young Money. I got it from uh, the thrift shop. Yeah, 17 and a half bucks. And then down here I have my I have I have my yoga pants. Got them from the yoga store. Okay, go. 